Okay, so now to a business information system. Kwa kutumia Odo High Level Enterprise Resource Planning System. Kwenye episode hii tuta just kuitumia Sales Information System. Inopatikana kwenye Functional Area ya Business inaitua Sales. Then kwenye Sales kuna Business Process. Business Process ya kwanza inopatikana katika Sales ni ku create a product ku create orders ku create invoice then ku send order kwa customer then ku receive payments then ku track analytics hizo ni business process unaweza kusema yani mpaka mteja anaipata bidhaa anapitia wapi na wapi sasa hizo business process zinafanyika manual so now tuna migrate from manual system na hizo process kufanyika kwenye computer yani kuwa computerized So ndo dhumuni na kuinstall hii uh, open source uh, system ambayo ni free una download una kuinstall inaitwa Odu ambayo ni enterprise resource planning system Tunaposema enterprise maana ni system ambayo ina sub systems za ndani yake ambazo zina modules zinazotumia single database yani functional areas systems zinatumia single database zina share single database so departments zote kwenye organization kila department inakuwa na system yake lakini zinatumia single database kwa ina maximize profit na efficiency pia so sales ni information system ambayo ni inapatikana ndani ya module inaitwa sales hivyo ambayo ni functional area kwenye sales kuna business process so kwenye Previous episode tuliona namna ku install sales. Nikija katika apps, nikija katika sales now. Nacho takao kufanya hapa ni ku create what products, ku create products. So hapa nitachokifanya sasa, kwanza kabisa nita document layout, nita fanya payment settings na mambo mengine ya muhimu ambayo nitafanya hapa. Lakini cha kwanza kabisa nita create product. So nikija hapa nita click products. Then hapa nita create new. Hapa nita kuja ku create a new product. Product hii nitakayo create nitaiingizia cost purchasing price. Then nita set sales price. Kisha nitakuja ku set tax collection percentage percentage ya uh, kodi kwa Tanzania ni 18% of course kitu kama hicho inategemea na nchi okay so kwenye hii video tutorial tuna migrate business processes from manual to information system to automated information system from manual to automated information system nini hizo business process ni zile activity zote zinazopatikana katika department ya organization kwamba mpaka mteja anakuja kupata product anapitia tu wazipi so si tumechukua a uh, case ambayo ni hii hapa tulionyesha kwenye previous episode kwamba mteja ana purchase order order anakuwa received una create invoice una send invoice mteja anafanya payment una receive payment then una track analytics analytics maana yake unaangalia profit na loss na mambo mengine okay so step number one create a product so that is a business process nana na create a product is a system admin okay so create a product for example a product is usb charger okay for example usb charger after then nakuja ku set uh sales price a sales price for example is uh For example, we can see labda pengine hii hapa. Sales price, okay? Then customer tax, okay? Tax collection ina depend na country na country pia. Of course kwa Tanzania tunatumia 18%. So now nitai close hii hapo. Nitakuja kuchagua ya kwa start typing now. Nitaandika pa 18%. Okay, now nita click create. After create nita remove hii hapa. So 80%. So sales price ni 4000 of course ni TZDS USD dollar tuwe ku change katika sales price itakuja kukatwa 80% of tax collection okay 
So cost, cost in purchasing price, of, for example, only F mili, okay? 2,000, 2,000 is purchasing price. So profit will be 2,000, because sales price is 4,000, profit will be 2,000. So from 2,000, una toa 8%, ya 2,000, iyo ndo takuwa ni actual profit. So system itamaliza wete. So product category, then it can be sellable or can be expenses, not okay. okay? So product barcode. Barcode ni just uh, number flani vya mbazo napatikana katika product. Zinaito barcode na mara nyingi zinakuwa scanned kwa kutumia barcode scanner, okay? Okay, so now we have a tab in it to ourselves. Nazi nka ingiza information. Then you have a tab purchase in accounting. So it's also una acha kama zilivo. So, important thing, product can be sold and product can be purchased. So, make sure you want to check. Check it up. Now, yes, check it up. Okay? Check it up. Then, USB charger, he product, unayekea what? Unayekea icon. Okay? But, sio muimu sana, USB charger. Sio muimu sana, lakini, inapendeza waka yekea uh, icon. So, to connect, kwenye wireless. Then, uh, napuja kwenye images, nachagua picha moja, ya demo, lakini watu kwa mepigia picha, picha zako, for example, nachagua hii, USB charger, ok, hii hapa, then, uh, save us, uh, save kwenye, uh, kwenye desktop as well, hapo kwenye desktop, ok, so nakuja hapa, nakuja kwenye hii hapa icon, just click edit, then this PC, and, uh, na, na navigate kwenye desktop Then USB charger hii hapa Of course image yaki ni hii By default product ito kwa shakisha kwa created Zena ule kukliki new Ok new na create another product For example product hii itakuwa ni uh, Wireless Wireless Ok wireless Wireless charger ok Zena na uja kwenye matukia images Zena na uja kuchagua uh, Any image Okay, for example, uh, this one, for example, this one, here, po, then you can change but in, uh, just we uh, right click, right click in save us, and save on the uh, desktop, okay, so now we have on my system, now we have select, okay, then I uh, change the image, then is wireless, wireless charger, okay, wireless charger, then uh, sales price is of course unasa kuchagua hiyo yapo then customer tax tax collection niki click yapo nito yona ile 80% then ina hii remove then cost cost I mean, for example purchasing price is that one product category can be sellable okay and so on barcode so muhimu sana okay then after then na kiki okay so niki click to new of course it are added so now nkija katika products niki click on products now you can see my product i have usb charger and wireless charger okay so that is the first business process create a product assign cost and selling price assign tax of course 80 percent for example create invoice and order so how to create invoice and order na kuja hapa katika orders na click order okay so click in order after then uh no order so nda click new Click new hapa, na uja kukreate a uh, new order. When you create new order, na select customer mbae na mtengenezea order. So, customer, no customer mbae kipa ntandika a new customer. For example, a customer is Alice. Alice, okay. Alice Samson. So, hapa na uja kukreate create Alice Samson. Na click create. So, user and ito Alice atakua created automatically. So, after then, we select a product. Product and we charge. So product then, for example, so na select the wireless charger. It is added. Uh, quantity, quantity. For example, we need three uh, quantity. You click enter. Now you can see this is unity price and this is total price. Three so four thousand ni kwa moja na hiya pa ni kwa zote. Okay. And now another product is wireless charger. Okay, wireless charger, okay, and I charge in copy, wireless charger, for example, and I charge quantity, for example, 40, 40 quantity, quantity, you can click it on a 40, and I charge in okay, so what I'm going to add is a product, and add, now we're going to add a subtotal, now, 
tax collection ya uh, of course hii kuna namna kurekebisha okay no problem then after then you can add your section add note add catalog and so on and so on after creating that na uja kuweka expired date expired date for example expire hii tarehe hiyo payment terms uh 30 days au imefanya payment for example after then na uja ku click confirm then order imesha kuwa confirmed kama hivi okay then preview now you can see baada ku click preview itaonyesha hiyo order hiyo order ambayo nime create na naweza nika print pia hii hapa nikitaka ku print na kuenza hapa view details na print hiyo order lakini okay so after doing so hii order imesha kuwa created okay so nikirudi back back to edit mode nikirudi back hii order kuna namna ku send kuna namna ku send by email so naweza nika click hapa send by email okay So click send by email maana hii order anamtumia customer kwenye email yake. Yes. Anaenda kuipokea kwenye email. Kwa hiyo click send by email anaenda kuipokea kwenye email. Okay. Na of course bado ina load system. Kwa kuna module inazi. So okay, hii hapa send by email. So hii hapa ni order and so on. Unaoja kuchagua email address na click add. So nikiklik add hapo na kuja ku add this information email naandika hapa email naandika information zake then save and close kwa ita ita send hii uh, order kwenye what kwenye email okay okay so na hiyo order itaenda kwenye mfumo wa pdf as unaona kabisa pdf hii hapa na huyu hapa ndo atakuwa ni huyo nani huyo customer ambaye unamtumia hiyo order for example bila chukulia mfano mtu unamtumia customer mwenye email address hiyo hapo umeona eh nikisha click bas huyo ni je ni individual ni company huyo anayemtumia kama ni company utaingiza details za company kama ni individual utaingiza details za individual kama unataka word more email uta click hapa add uta add email nyingine okay so now discard then hapa na click save and close so here hapo baada ku weka hiyo email address subject kama email so subject for example my company order order number hiyo so on and so on and so on then send okay After clicking send now customer akifungua email yake atakuja kuona hii order. Kwa hiyo unakuja kukuta order hapa imetumwa kwenye Gmail, okay? Imetumwa kwenye Gmail na order yenyewe ndio hii. So mimi mwenyewe binafsi hapa naweza nika download hii hapa. Hapa nime download nikaifungua hii hapa. Okay, hii ndio inakuwa ni order yake. Sasa so, ni company logo so on his product USB charger na wireless charger na amount ni hii. Na payment payment inatakuwa ifanyike ndani ya what 30 days. So ukiangalia okay, hapa tunaona payment inaitwa Saturdays au uh, fanya payment na customer inaitwa Alice. Okay. Order ni hapo unaweza kai change. Tax ni hii japo haijakuwa included. So tax ni uh, 80% so 50. Okay. Kesi kama hiyo. Okay. So no. Uh, Kinachofuata ni reporting to so reporting your sales itaonyesha uh, graphs of course hakuna sales yote iliyofanyika nikitaka kuona kwa mfumo wa pie chart now you can see a simple line graph and bar graph hamna sales iliyofanyika so kwenye reporting tool hutaona chochote sales persons okay case kama hiyo and products product ni moja na mbili tu ya kwanza ni USB charger na pili ni wireless kwa hiyo unakuja kuona hiyo ni inaonyesha trend ya product kwenye customers customer hapo mmoja Alice ambao nilimcreate. Nikija kwenye product ndio hizi hapa products, okay? Product mbili. Nikiklik nikataka ku edit na edit tu hapa. Nikija kwenye hiyo ni product, hii ni orders. Nikiklik orders, nikitaka kuona list of orders now ndokuja kuona list of orders ni hizi. Na hii hapa ni status ilikuwa kwenye namna hii. So nikiklik hii order italeta hapa naweza nikaendelea na nyingine. So nikija kwenye to invoice hapa nza nikachagua order invoice okay number of course itaonyesha hiyo hapo okay so nikija kwenye dashboards nikiklik dashboard okay dashboard inafanya kazi gani kuleta trend trend ya revenue okay trend ya revenue order iliyofanyika ni moja mpaka sasa ndio ile ambayo nime create revenue bado hajaletwa yani hajafanya sales sales hajafanyika yani ile ambayo nimemtumia ile order hajalipia nani alifanya order ni ni, 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 ni administrator ambao ni sales person na customer anaitwa Alice na order ilikuwa ni order hii 
revenue ni laki 4 na 12. Product ambazo zilifanywa ni wire charger na USB charger, okay? Top categories ni sell able na here power of course. Hizi ni information. Nikitaka ku, ku, kuona hii order yenyewe na just ku click na iona hii hapa order italeta hapa kwenye hiyo order, okay? Hapa back. That is case number 1. Case number 2 uh, interaction ya customer na system yetu. Yaani nikija hapa katika hii apps kuna hii hapa CRM ni customer management information system customer relational management information system. Yeah, muona, yani customer anaweza akaingia kwenye system. Sasa basi tuashumu kuna mteja anaingia kwenye system yetu. So na na shumu na log out. Log out, log out. Okay. So now <coughs> After log out nitakuja kwenye page ya namna hii. Kwenye page ya namna hii nikishakuwa nime nime log out nitakuja kwenye page ya namna hii. Uzi ni ni hapa. Okay, sorry. So hapa nikija ni log out. Okay, nikisha log out nitakuja kwenye page ya namna hii. Nikisha kuja hapa sasa nataka niingie kama customer mwingine. Of course hii ndio ilikuwa ni account yangu mara kwanza na login mimi ni login kama distractor. Sasa suppose uh, customer ana, 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 anataka ingie so ata click hapa don't have an account ataingiza email address for example ataingiza email address yake labla alice alice at gmail.com name alice alice number 2 then password for example password is 1 confirm password is 1 ok and I click sign up ok so customer huyu akisha kwa melogin yani huyu alice akija kuangalia sales order hawezi kukuta chuchote huyu ni customer hawezi kukuta chuchote kwa hiyo tona katika uh, tutori nilofata namna ya huyu ambayo naka request order lakini kwa sasa naweza nika log out nika log in kama admin ambayo ni huyu then nikija kama admin hapa kwenye system ya sales niki click after then of course current ni na moja tu so nikija kwenye orders nataka ni create a new order so na create new order na mchagua customer customer wote ambayo takwame log in kwenye system for example find a customer huyu hapa alis 2 yule alikuwa ame login pale kisha na mtengenezea order for example japo in reality order anatengeneza mwenyewe okay so hii hapo product ya pili mfano nachagua from products hii hapo labda na add another product product ya tatu for example hii hapo eh mfano una product nyingi yani ndo na add more products quantity inaweza ka change nataka quantity labda 30 okay so on and so on after then nafanya na confirm nikisha confirm na create naweza nika send by email au nika create invoice okay so hapa na create regular invoice na create draft invoice okay so now invoice tayari imeshakuwa created tayari so niki log out nikija ku log in kama yule uh, uh, Alice ambaye ni huyu customer ambaye ali create account nikija hapa nikija kwenye sales orders nitakuta order hii hapa nimeshaikiwa hapa hii hapa okay so aki click atakuja kukuta order yenyewe ni hii ambayo ametengenezewa hii hapa akiingia kwenye system na kama nataka ku comment as like bla 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 then send comment so hii ni just a order yake okay so na click send so order hii inaonyesha total sub total kila product na nini so ata click send na message yake ni hii itaenda kuonekana kule admin yake login so akija hapa back akija back again akija kwenye your invoices amna no invoice so now log out after logging out now login as admin huyu hapa kwenye system acha login akisha ingia admin anaenda tena kwenye ile system yetu anakuja kwenye apps then module to install ni sales kisha anakuja katika hii invoice ya pili ambayo itengenezwa alice number 2 okay kwenye invoice ya alice number 2 now you can see message a message from Alice number 2 ni bla 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 mbon hii ok so now I can reply is then can edit I can reply or I can send message for example when I click send message send message to na select user ni alice at gmail.com ok 
okay you are order for example you are order bra 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 then you can set icons is up okay is on the icons and so on and so on now i can send okay after sending now i can log in at least at the time you order i can log in at the time i'm sorry now your message you could talk about employee when you when you get a session so another step is to install web website na kuja hapa katika apps nitakuonyesha kazi ya website nini so nakuja kwenye web so just search hapa andika web then click you okay so now you can see this is a website we have a e-commerce website now activate website okay now after activating uh website kitachokuja kuonekana ni kama hiki kwamba ukilogin una login katika mfumo wa website ukilog out na log out kwenye mfumo wa website na zipo pia option nyingine kama hii hapa shop utaona product zote na unaweza ka click ni product ka add to cart then ka view cart then ka check out then ka fill information form continue to cart ukafanya payment then hii ni about us okay hii ni home okay hii ni sign in so ni sign in hapa nita sign in okay nita click ok niki click ok nita kuja hapa kwenye site niki kuja kwenye site nita kuja kwenye sales nita kwenye sales nita kuja kwenye for example products utaona products zangu ni his okay okay so ngitaka kutengeneza orders nita kuja kwenye orders okay so create a new order okay so nita kutengeneza hapa new order hii ni reporting tool hii ni configuration hii ni configuration hapa naja kuseti hapa default haionekani jina la kampuni yetu lakini hapa naja kuseti jina la kampuni jina la kampuni na reseti hapa hapa company name so on so on kwa ajili ya inventory and so on so on employee inventory iweje uh, expenses iweje na so on okay so now hapa naja click let's do it i want to a business website for my uh, demo for example my oh sorry for my let's let like be uh, find the uh, business yapa for, for example for my bank here twende with the many objective to okay many objectives to get leads so to inform customers and so on then you choose a uh, desired color then I choose how many number of pages nataka page ya services pricing about us live chat shops then you click build my website so now it builds what website so choose a uh, what theme and you can choose a theme for example this one now build your website ipo kwenye process okay so after building website now nikija hapa nikitoa address ningeja katika home namna hii itafungua website katika mfumo huu so current now ina just kufanya installation lakini nitakuja kuifungua katika mfumo kama huu website itakuwa hivi kinachofuata sasa ni wewe sasa ku customize utaki kutoa ili neno weka jingine na nini na nini na nini ni customization itakuwa okay okay so now bado inafanya installation lakini haja kuonekana kama hivi nikiclick home inakuwa ni home contact us na kwenye contact us hapa na ukiandika hapa itaenda kule kwenye server admin akiingia taona click shops on my products products zangu ni hizi okay niki kwenye services now you can see services hii utajas kuandika chochote okay okay so bado ina, ina create Okay so now <coughs> after creating although website website inakuwa inafunguliwa kwenye website builder okay okay so website imeshakuwa successful created and now i can log in okay 
na wakin login so unaweza ngaja hapa nikaandika odo odo local host i think this one local host as delete hii web nini na nini nibaki hapa click yes, this is my website okay ambao ni hii hapa right so now nikitaka ku edit page na kuja ku click hapa edit nisha click edit tu maana yake nabadilisha hizi widget hizo kwa hapa hizi widget siko hapa nabadilisha Okay so hapa hizi hizi ni blocks naweza nika customize theme nikabadilisha theme nikiklik kwenye theme nitabadilisha color nataka rangi hii nita click hiyo rangi itabadilisha huku and so on nitaka customize blocks nitaka kwa block block nyingine maana nita drop hapa hii block nita block nita drop hapo nikataka hii naweza nika drop hapa maana ni drop itatokea hii alafu nita click save nikisha click save basi ni refresh itakuwa sasa hivi ni hii so ile tena ambayo iko hapo pale Okay so hapo ina activate hii hapo. Kwa hii na hii ilikuwa mara kwanza ni hii okay ina activate. So now this is a shop. Nikiklik shop now you can see I have only two products. Ya kwanza ni hii okay. Ya pili ni hii ambayo niliziadi pale kwenye products. Zinatokea huko automatic okay. Hii ni services and so on. So now hapa nimesha log in kama admin. So nikiklik naweza nika log out. Niki log out anaweza ka login yule customer wetu huyo hapa. Akilogin yeye hata kutana na privilege ambazo tunazo. Kwa akilogin yeye anarogin anaingia hapa. Ana sehemu ya ile kutengeneza web na nini customize web anaishia hapa. So akishia hapa maana yeye kazi yake ni kuangalia tu order hizi hapa. So mbona advantage? Advantage ya kutumia website maana customer ana receive order invoice katika mfumo wa website. Tofauti na mara kwanza, okay? Kwa hiyo hodaki ni hii, lakini ipo kwenye mfumo gani ya website na last conversation communication history ile kwepo ni hii. Anaweza kaandika something, akiklik send ya sitaenda kuona kule katika mfumo wa website. So hapa na send comment Alice kuhusiana na nini na invoice hapa, okay? So huyu anaweza ka log out, Alice tu log out, okay? Aki log out na sign in, admin akija ku log in yeye ana log in bado kwenye mfumo wa website. Ila ku log in anakutana na zile uh, Ye na kutana na settings zake zote za apps za nini okay so tutaona ikisha e kwa mifunguka sasa ah uh, let's wait okay okay so ikisha e kwa mifunguka for example kama hivi na admin sasa hapa anaweza kaona kila kitu akitaka kuona website anaiona akitaka kuona sales anaona akitaka kwenda kwenye web anaona kwa hiyo anaingia kwenye admin panel ya kuweza ku create orders and so on. The same procedure if you want to install point of sales nitakuja kwenye apps ta click apps then nitakuja ku click what uh, for example inventory niki click application inventory nikitaka ku install mfano niki click cha kwanza kabisa kabla sija install na kutaka kuitumia steps ni zile zile ambazo tuliziona kwenye episode number 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 2 episode number 2 okay, sorry kwenye episode of course ni episode number 2 yes hii ni episode number 3 i'm sorry kwenye episode number 2 kwenye episode number 2 okay tuliona ili uweze kuinstall chochote hapa kwenye hizi modules labda restaurant uh, sales no, e-commerce na nini cha kwanza ni lazima identify business your business functional areas or identify business process then you install sasa hiyo module. Ukisha install, urani business katika trial, then you fanya optimization. Kwa unapo install uh, Yes, unapo install, mimi nime install hapa inventory. So nikije hapa nitaiona hii hapa inventory nita click. So nita click hii hapa, then nitaiona hii inventory. Okay? So ndani nita click. Niki click kwenye inventory, ujue vinavyopatikana ndani ya inventory ni vitu gani. Ndio maana nikasema lazima understand business functional area na business process vipi vinapatikana vinafanyika kwenye inventory kwa sababu hii ni enterprise resource planning wale wote wanajua kila kitu kwa wameweka kila kitu kinachofanyika kwenye inventory kama vile operations kuna receipt kuna delivers na so on product ni kitu product hizi ni products za, za kwenye inventory of course ni hizi hapa umeona zina ndio maana enterprise zimetoka kwenye sales system zimeletwa kwenye inventory maana zinatumia single database so hii hapa ni reporting tool na hii hapa ni overview. Overview na kwa namna hii. Hii ni receipts. Okay, nikiklik receipt na una receipt. 
derivatives niki no derivatives okay niki kiki kwenye physical inventory no eh, okay niki kwenye product ndo zile product zetu reporting ya stock hapa hakuna chochote malaki paka uelewe wewe una business process zipi kama zitafit kwenye information system so now again apps okay hizi hapa ni apps zipo nyingi manufacturing ndoka install na nini lakini cha msingi understand what business functional areas na nini na business process 